Hi guys, welcome to this video about problems with the Canon printer MX922 and especially when you have problems when it uh, like goes offline or, it's, or it seems to like go offline you set it up, you connect it to the wireless uh, connect it wireless and a few hours later or a day later you can't print anymore it throws crazy error messages says it offline or port is in use or it's doing other operations or, or whatever a lot of different messages I think uh, I mean the, the the printer is not the very latest device it's on the market since 2012 2013 but it's still a really good device. I mean, especially when you think about the price, you can get it about for about seventy dollars at the moment with Amazon Prime, as you can see. And yeah, most of the reviews are good. Of course, some people are having problems, and uh, yeah, I mean, one of the problems is that it can go offline from time to time so I've had two of these printers I've had one for about three years then I killed it with um, printer head was leaking and I so I bought another one and I'm pretty but I, I was all the time happy with it I had it connected to uh, Frontier uh, that's uh, I think Bright House uh, router. Then I had it to Verizon. Um, no, I can't remember. It has changed the name. Or Verizon Frontier and Bright House. Something else. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So it was never a problem. I never had problems with this offline uh, thing. And now I switch to Wow. Uh, that's uh, Wow something. Um, and yeah, uh, there I have. Uh, I'm having problems. I mean, I can't connect to their main router. I have two routers, like the main router, which is yeah, that's <laughs> basically the main router. It's just a router, and I'm not even able to connect. Uh, not with the manual setup, not with the VPS, and but there's another. Uh, router built in the setup box and there I was able to connect even with VPS or WPS I was able to connect but the problem is it always disconnects I'm connected for a few hours or yeah usually for a few hours and then it disconnects and I thought I didn't think about the wow I, I thought I'm having problems with the printer and I did uh, set it up wrong and so I did a little bit of research you can find a big community forum at the usa.canon.com and you find exactly the problem which I was having described here MX922 keeps going offline and there are a lot of uh, solutions or workarounds I think this guy finally connected he has two computers if he connected it with USB and then was using wirelessly the other computer I mean he was sharing the printer so but he has to keep both computers online uh, there are many many other solutions some seem to work some seem not to work here one guy has another solution there's the IP setting IP uh, when you put IPv6 uh, to uh, to know and that's another thing I didn't even know that DRX setting choose disable I don't know about I never used that um, there are four pages in total here there are more um more solutions or people are trying to provide solution here i think there's something yeah a lot of people have been assuming that it's related to the ip lease so one 
person was suggesting to extend the IP lease to like unlimited instead of uh, a few hours or so or a few days or pe some people were assigning uh, dedicated IP addresses which you can do I don't know if it really helps so my solution is a simple one it costs a little bit of money but it's a simple one just um, yeah my solution is to buy or to use a dedicated router which you know which is working so so they, they are there are quite a few good routers let's say on if you if you look on Amazon let's say here you go uh, and search for wireless router and there's uh, for example Netgear um, which has a really good rating Linksys um, TP-Link I have al always been using that TP-Link Asus uh, they seem to be ha uh, to ha seem to have a really good reputation uh, as far as I heard so something like this and usually um, I can't guarantee but I uh, would suggest that in 90% of the cases it will do the job and it will solve the problem and other connection issues too I mean I had also another device which I wasn't uh, have been not able to s connect to the WoW router and yeah like IP uh, cams and other stuff so when you switch usually a lot of people are switching the uh, internet provider internet service provider every year or every two years because you go in a contract and after the contract the yeah, price goes up and then you have to switch again and then you get a no new router and you have no idea what kind of router it will be you you cannot tell them yeah give me this router you will get something and you it, it can cause a lot of problems it can cause these problems with this MX9 uh, 922 it can cause problems that you can't even connect uh, to wireless and and really other stuff a lot of things and a lot of these problems can really be prevented when you buy such a good router um, let's say you don't e you don't have to um, spend a lot of money here's one for fifty dollars with quite a lot of good reviews so and the the thing is it the routers do not have a lot of progress they they, they don't do a lot of uh, development every year uh, maybe every five years or so there's something new but apart from that uh, when you buy something like this for fifty dollars or for one hundred dollars it will last for ten five or ten years and then when you switch the internet service provider just attach this wireless router with Ethernet to the real router which you get from the internet service provider uh, you don't ha even have to configure that you, ch uh, you just plug it in with the Ethernet and you will have all your um, equipment already set up because you will do the connection only to this device with all your computers with with your mobile phones with your co uh, printer with with everything you w when you have set it up the connection to this device and you uh, switch your internet service provider and attach again the same wireless router to the new uh, internet service pro uh, provider router you don't have to change anything and it will work uh, for 99 percent um, yeah so this is my suggestion don't try I mean if you really have to save money if you don't want to spend maybe fifty dollars uh, you can do that but uh, I highly suggest to buy um, something like this I will put down the link to Amazon with this uh, list of routers um, yeah in the description you, you can just click on that and 
then you see oh uh, there, there are a lot of these I mean usually if you don't do gaming even a, t a 300 megabit router will do the job if you don't have five children uh, ten computers and so on usually um, yeah th th this will be no enough I'm currently uh, connected with a almost 10 years old router and I've connected two PCs uh, printers, some IP cameras and so and it's absolutely no problem at all and if you want to spend a little bit more maybe fifty dollars you get a really good device so uh, that's it for now uh, I mean for me it solved this problem uh, because I'm yeah can, I, I'm using the old router which I know for sure that which 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 was always <laughs> working. I just had to find the old box which I had stored somewhere, and yeah, just plug it in, and and it worked right away. So uh, I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below, and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.